Hello friends, I am Vikram from EasyOn Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring Framework. In my previous video session, I discussed about the DAO implementation and we have completed only three operations there. Insert, Update and Delete we have completed. Select operation we have to uh, we have still we have to work for select but before moving to the select operation implementation I have to discuss about the row mapper object and uh, what is the purpose of the row mapper so actually the row mapper object will map one database record to one domain object so it's a row mapper here row mapper object what is the role of this object it maps a record from result set to domain object in my case in my case one record one record from user table will be mapped to one domain object right this is what I'm going to do here so for this we need to implement here row mapper interface so this is the row mapper interface I stands for interface and this interface has one map row method which is taking here a result set object and this result set is ready to use it's ready to use no need to call here next method in this result set because it is already done by spring framework internally and this is your row number and uh, now we need to provide here implementation so I'm going to use here user row mapper this user row mapper will map here actually it is supporting here generics so it is something like this and uh, we can uh, set the type of the row mapper so we can pass here this is my this will map to the user object so here I can use this method like this so as it is a uh, user type the return value will be user here and uh, here we need to do the coding and this coding will create domain object and bind values from RS result set right then once it is prepared you have to just return that so it is something like this return whatever the user you created might be you created here a user object something like this so user u equals to new user and you have set some data set data sorry set data in user from result set right and return the u this is the user this is what I'm going to do here right so this is the relation and uh, this is the implementation class so let's do this so we have to do the two different implementations one is for uh, user and another is for we required here one more table which is contact so this is contact row mapper and this will work for contact domain class right similarly will do the implementation as we planned for the previous one so these two implementations I am going to make here so just come to the coding so you can close all these and here I am going to create a row mapper inside the RM package RM stands for row mapper so do one thing this is my user row mapper and uh, I'm going to this is my row mapper and you can tell the type here this is the type is 
user it is working for the user domain class so implement Im import and now there is one method implement that method here this is map row correct and what we have to do fetch the record from result set and bind to the user so create the user this user as we have discussed in this previous slide and bind the value from result set set user id and rs dot get integer from column user id column right similarly set name and rs dot get string of name column this is correct user dot set email address rs dot get a string of email and user dot set address and this is rs dot get a string for address column and user dot set this is login name I can set here so rs dot get a string from login name column and user dot set password I'm not going to fetch here because once your job is done once you are logged in no need to carry the password throughout the system so I'm not going to use here password access the password here so I'm going to use role so set role rs dot role is an integer in my case so it is get integer from role and user dot set this is login status so again it's result set dot get integer for the login status column right and now return that it's done so this row mapper is ready and this row mapper will fetch uh, this row mapper will map the record from this result set to the user object so this is the single implementation now I'm going to do the similar implementation for the contact so this is my class let me change this to this is contact row mapper just copy paste and uh, here we have to use different object so just copy paste and quickly this is contact and we need to return here contact and this object will be your contact object and these are the fields okay so contact has user ID this is correct and user dot set just contact ID rs dot get integer from the column contact ID so we are fetching here values so from the result set and binding to the contact object so I can rename re this to u to c c stands for contact so here we created contact and fetch the value for contact id and bind to the contact object domain class user id is correct name and uh, phone number is missing i think we skipped phone number in this also so just i'm going to copy paste that so this is set phone number this is phone number and the phone number column okay we skipped in the user row mapper now it is complete and look at the second one here also we required this is my phone number and set phone this is correct and remark is also required here so this is set remark so we have taken remark for the contact and this is remark column so we have got all the values and mapped properly to the contact domain class right so these two are completed here and uh, this is enough for this discussion in next video we will talk about the implementation of the remaining DO, DAO methods data access object methods so thank you very much for now and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel till now just subscribe 
and you will get lot of updates from my project work and the different technology related updates thank you very much for now